Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. What's going on between your person and the karmic? We're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to. Power of number 11. Power of number 6. And power of number 5. Looks like we're going to the number 22. Some of you Scorpios could be dealing with another Scorpio or a Sagittarius born in the month of November. And yes, a lot of you Scorpios were born at the latter part of October. That is true. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian born in the month of June. You could also be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. Some of you are also dealing with our astrological next door neighbor, Libra. Picking up on strong Scorpio and Aries energy coming in through the number 16, as well as Capricorn energy through the number 15. And others of you, again, more strong Pisces energy coming in through the number 12. However, some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn born in the month of December. But either way, going to the power of number 22 for the beautiful star sign of Scorpio. Your person and the karmic. One, two, six, seven, eight. One, two, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please, between Scorpio's person and their karmic third-party situation? Show me what's up. Mm, okay. So we have the Ace of Cups coming in, okay? Some of you are dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Mm, the Ace of Wands. Something tells me that the two of them could be going on a trip together. Mm, but we got the magician here. Mm. The magician is a very fickle energy because the magician can sometimes come in as control and manipulation. Mm, we got the fool card. Some of them returned back to this karmic. They could have already had a prior connection with them. And it feels to me that in some situations that your person went back to an ex to have a fresh new start, a brand new beginning, okay? So with the Fool card here, somebody made a foolish choice, but on the bottom of the deck, it's like I have a battle going on here. Don't be fooled by what you see or what you hear through the grapevine. It may look like, oh, things are going so well. Mm -mm. Not if there's a battle going on. <laughs> yeah. We got some sneaky behavior. Got the Seven of Swords behind the battle here of the Nine of Wands. Somebody's lying in that connection. Ooh, and they got a Tower moment coming. Ha. Yeah. Their love relationship 
is going to come crashing down to the ground. <laughs> well, I'm going to pull this out. <laughs> and behind the lovers, five of swords. Somebody's playing mind games. All right. They were trying to work out this situation with this karmic in some cases. For other situations uh, with your person, this was a newer person for them. But this person was not, meaning your person was not seeing very crystal clear. What they don't see coming, it's going to be a crash, boom, bam. Yep. Then go into the Kipper deck. Okay, the official person, this can also talk about, this could be an impending lawyer or a judge in the future. What are they being sneaky about? Money. Mm-hmm. Clarifying the tower. There's the courthouse, you guys. I said a judge or a lawyer. Courthouse. This relationship ended the moment they got involved with them. Bottom line. They were not in their true higher self. Your person might have money or this person that they're dealing with might have money. Some of them could be going through divorce right now, trying to divvy up assets. Either way, there's trouble in paradise. They thought they were on the path to pathway to their true love, their soulmate. Clarifying the five of swords. They did not think this through. <laughs> Adjudication on the bottom of the deck. So if they are technically married, they are going to go through divorce. Pulling that out. They got a judgment card. This person was under a spell or an illusionary energy with this karmic. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Harsh words. Somebody wants to rush to get out of this situation. Or they want, they're going to feel that way in the future. King of Coins could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I've got uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Gemini, Aries, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aries energy coming in again. It's like the gang's all here. Could be dealing with the Gemini or a Cancer born in the month of June. Could be dealing with another Scorpio. Maybe you know that this person is going through technically right now a divorce. But if they married this person, adios. It's over. Game over. Clarifying the king of coins. Yeah, then they're going to come back to you, Scorpio. Male or female. Coming in as the empress. To bring you... The Ten of Cups. They did, not, they did not see this divorce or split or separation or breakup coming with them in the karmic. They might need a time out. And being patient. Because they're going to have to make... Okay. They're going to have to strategize their approach on how they're going to tell you this. Because it scares them. It scares them to tell you when that time comes, because everybody's on a different timeline, it's going to scare them because they're going to be they're going to be kicking themselves 
that they even got involved with this karmic person. Three of Swords, bottom of the deck. A breakup is coming. Yeah, somebody's going to get left out in the cold or taken advantage of for their money. They didn't, they don't, listen, I can't even talk. They do not see this coming. They're going to, again, they're going to have to find the courage and the strength because they're going to be very fearful. They're going to be all up in their head. Feeling like a mental lockdown, like, oh my God, I can't believe I left Scorpio for this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. When you find out, Scorpio, it's going to be good news. It's going to be good news for you. <laughs> Clarifying that Ace of Cups, got the devil card. A toxic love, tainted love. They're going to think, man, all that work, all that money that I put into the karmic, clarifying the devil. They're going to think this was a waste of time. Yeah, there's an ending coming. Ten of swords. They, I said, <laughs> the moment it started, it truly ended. It was ending before it could begin. So they've all been under the illusion. They're both lying to themselves. Yeah, two of swords. They may be wondering if they're going to have to fight for your affection, Scorpio. Some of them don't even know if you're seeing anybody else. There's the Empress. There you are. Coming in, male or female. They're shaking in their boots on what they're going to have to say to you. Yeah. Conflict. They're worried. They're fearful. You're, you're going to go on the attack with them. They are. Ace of Swords. But they want to bring in the truth. When that time comes, that relationship ended before it even began. My awesome and amazing Scorpios, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. If you like this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.